is where he resides. Hunting them at the far reaches of the Earth and beyond. And with him lies our salvation. There is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. Welcome home, Great Slayer. y'all it's your boy ad and to be honest doom eternal is one of those type of games that reminds fans of the original doom in 2016 and why this is such a beloved franchise so for those that don't know what doom eternal is it's a first person shooter video game developed by id software and published by bethesda softworks this game runs off the id tech 7 engine and is playable on the playstation 4 nintendo switch xbox one and pc now one of the main things i keep hearing about this game is that it's better than the original Doom in 2016 and that's because ID Software somehow managed to surpass even itself. As the arenas are bigger, the enemies are larger, the movement is faster, and all of it is even more varied than before. And one of the most important things is that Doom Eternal actually corrects some of the imbalances of 2016's Doom and in result of that it presents a multiplayer component that's just as gratifying and enjoyable as the campaign mode. But before we get more into Doom Eternal, make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video while also sharing this to help my channel grow so starting with the multiplayer called battle mode for this mode you have one player playing as doom guy going up against two other demon players and the demon players will also have the capability of spawning ai enemies meaning you will obviously be able to tell the difference between the campaign mode from the multiplayer mode as the multiplayer mode has its own variety of gameplay and more on battle mode it lets you pick from one of the five demons and the options are you can play as Pain, Elemental, Marauder, Archbio, Mancubus, and Revenant. Hopefully I said those names right, but with each one of those having their own control schemes, mechanics, and playstyles. Like for example with Mancubus, he's a tank character, so his gameplay will be nowhere near like Pain Elemental, which is an AoE focused type demon. But of course, the Doom Slayer remains the most powerful character in this mode, which is why the demon players have the ability to spawn other AI minions and heal themselves in their allies, while also destroying other potential health and ammo dumps that may be given to the doom slayer so basically to summarize battle mode it's the demon players teaming up to take down the person playing as the doom slayer and it's a welcome change because it's a different kind of gameplay offered compared to the campaign as we are talking about the studio that effectively developed the first team deathmatch so getting into gameplay doom eternal feels like a big step forward in making the franchise something new as it's all about you effectively using the huge amount of tools at your disposal like health armor and ammo pickups are at a minimum in the Eternals many combat arenas so the game requires you to earn these by taking out monsters in a variety of different ways and taking out certain enemies in specific ways refills your health and as you take them out more armor pickups will start to pop up around them one of the signature aspects about Doom Eternal is that in 
in order to stay alive you have to pay attention to everything around you and plan out your next move rationally to keep yourself in fighting strength which means that keeping all your numbers up and style points means to continually rotate around the arena while dealing with different enemy types many of the toughest enemies now have weak points that allow you to snipe off their most lethal weapons meaning that you will have to find those weak points if you want to take them out quickly most players who have played the game say that the mental math of figuring out how to keep yourself alive is a big part and is what makes the game fun and that the improved mobility really sets doom eternal away from other fps's as when you finish the game every time you hear a metal guitar solo you'll think of doom eternal gameplay and touching on the level design it provides you plenty of opportunities to move around and gives you plenty of mobility options to constantly give you your next target and gives you a plethora of options to take out the different enemy types all these mechanics coming together just makes every fight feel really fast once you get the rhythm of doom eternal it becomes a brilliant extension of what made doom's 2016 so unique and lastly getting into the story i heard that the campaign takes you around 16 hours to complete and also it feels like a fundamental shift from the jokey style of doom 2016 meaning that doom eternal is more serious and the majority of the story i've been told is pretty tough to follow if you don't spend time braiding through the many collectible lore drops scattered around every level but thankfully keeping up with eternal's confusing plot isn't really that necessary because of the main focus being to enjoy the gameplay but getting into the pros and cons starting with the cons I only have one con for doom eternal because this is a really great game and since every other game is getting pushed back for this year this may be game of the year but i'm not certain yet but one of the main things that people say about this game that's a slight negative is that the battles become kind of repetitive after you put a certain number of hours into the game and then getting into the many pros i have for the game it's really intense and tough to fight certain enemies so it's definitely rewarding when you take them out they have clever platforming to get you around the map and just making going around the environment more satisfying and that leading into my next pro doom eternal has a lot of large secret field maps meaning that if you explore a line to the game you may find a certain secret section in the map that you wouldn't have otherwise if you wasn't paying attention to detail and then lastly one of the things that's expected from doom eternal but still nice to see that they follow through is the huge selection of weapons and mods now getting into the fan reviews starting with the first twitter user he says doom eternal color appreciation tweet this is him basically showing some snapshots of doom eternal as the game really looks great as you can see right now in the background this is one of the best looking fps's to come out in 2020 if not the best and then moving on to the next twitter user he shows a fan art drawing of doom slayer and says that doom eternal is 10 out of 10 so you already know how he feels about doom eternal as whenever you have fans making sketches of your game you really did a good job in the game design in inspiring other fans to make drawings of your character that you created and then getting into the last twitter user he's talking about the multiplayer experience and shows a little snapshot of that so you can see that the fans are having just as much fun with the multiplayer as they are with the campaign and then getting into critic reviews starting with IGN IGN gave Doom Eternal a 9 out of 10 saying Doom Eternal is one of the best first person shooter campaign in years its brand of fun remains unmatched in FPS and then moving on to GameSpot GameSpot gave Doom Eternal an 8 out of 10 saying Eternal's multiplayer is a fun change of pace especially with the opportunity to play as the demons but its steep learning curve means it's a bit alienating to drop into particularly if you haven't put significant time into the campaign and then lastly with metacritic we have the xbox one version having an 89 out of 100 with the user score being a 7.7 out of 10 and then you have playstation 4 version at 87 with the user score being an 8 and then the pc version having an 89 with the user score being a 7.7 so those are really good scores overall and doom eternal may actually be game of the year because of the year being cut so short but in summary though it can take a bit to get the hang of doom eternal the combat combined with its enhanced mobility and option heavy level design creates a ton of moments that elevate everything that made doom 2016 work so well and its combat is quick and chaotic but requires you to constantly analyze everything that's happening in order to come out victorious once you get the hang of the rhythm of doom eternal it'll make your gameplay a lot more enjoyable but let me know have you played doom eternal and is it better than 2016 doom i can't give my opinion because i've never played doom eternal or 2016 doom and that's only because i'm not trying to spend money on the game based on taking out demons but to each his own so yeah that's it for the video if you enjoyed this make sure to let me know by hitting that like button subscribe and share this with your friend 
neighbor, dog, or just send this to the person across the street wanting to shoot at demons for 30 plus hours because without them, this wouldn't be possible. And with that, I'm out.